Hey everyone, I'm back to do a video and this video is going to be a informational slash review slash some awesome news for all of my subscribers. So, if you want to find out about some amazing deal, then please stick around. I was contacted by an amazing lady. Her name is Lisa. She is a Mary Kay representative and she said that she wanted to send me a couple things and she wanted to offer my subscribers something as well. So, she wanted to send me her favorite lip gloss by them. So my name is Pink X Lip Gloss. She said that her favorite, favorite lip gloss by them was, it's called Pink Diamonds. And it's a lip gloss and it's pink and I was like, of course, I would love if you send that to me. How can I not like something that's pink and lip gloss? Pink Diamonds Lip Gloss. And this is what the lip gloss looks like comes in this super duper cute packaging. I, I used to buy a lot of Mary Kay back in the day. When I was younger, I was telling her that's all I would wear would be Mary Kay cosmetics. And as I got older, I started branching out into different stuff from Sephora and Ulta like we all do. The best thing about this lip gloss that I have realized is it is very, very moisturizing. It's not so sticky that when you are walking and wind blows, your lipstick is going to get stuck in your lip gloss. It's not like that. It's very moisturizing. It's very conditioning. It smells good. It doesn't have a nasty, gross smell to it. It's just amazing, amazing. I really, really, really like this lip gloss. A little sparkle, a little glitter in it, but not too much, like micro size glitter. Not so much that you're gonna feel it on your lips and it'd be disgusting. So she did send me this and I am so super duper thankful. Also, she packaged it really, really cute and she sent me little suckers, which I love. I love suckers and they're Jolly Rancher suckers, so. She also sent me uh, a cute, cute little note. Super cute note. It says, Hi Tabitha, I hope you will like the Pink Diamond Lip Gloss as much as I do. Thank you for sharing my Mary Kay website with your viewers. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your order too. I know you will enjoy your new products. Love, Lisa. Well, as you can tell from her letter, I ended up ordering some stuff from her too because I was like, if I'm going to tell my viewers about Mary Kay, I need to be up to date with the Mary Kay things because the things that I bought from Mary Kay a long time ago, the packaging yet has changed, all kinds of stuff. I picked up a couple things and one of the one things that I did pick up was their Mary Kay mascara and their mascara is in the ultimate mascara and it is in the color black. You can pick this up in black or brown. All the links and all the prices and stuff will be in the bottom bar for everything that I purchased so that you can compare prices and stuff to see if you want to try this out. But it's really nice. Here is the wand. It's a really, really nice dark black. It's not no charcoal or anything like that. The good thing about this is though that I have tried it and I've been using this for the past couple days. Put on those the lightest layer like yesterday I didn't even really wear a lot of this I just put on a little bit and it was good to go and I noticed that my lashes was not crunchy they wasn't hard you know how your eyelashes get really really hard and stiff today I added a little bit more so they are a little bit more stiff but yesterday they was not stiff at all and but the thing is though even though I added a little bit more they're not really that hard and stiff like I absolutely adore this stuff um the only thing that I don't really like about this is the fact that the wand is not the best in the world for getting your bottom lashes I think it's a great wand for uh, or for your top lashes but your bottom lashes I don't think it's the best thing in the world it's kind of um I don't know I think it's little maybe and it's like the the bristles are really really close together so I don't know it's just not the best in the world for my lower lashes I still do it and it still does fine but it's not the easiest thing other than that though all in all I think this is an amazing mascara to be completely truthful with you all There's only the one con and the one con is the lower lashes are kind of hard to get to and maneuver around without getting them without getting mascara underneath your eye. I really, really, really do love this packaging. I really, really like it. It's so classy. I've always thought, though, that Mary Kay was a very, very classy cosmetic company. And um, Mary Kay herself was always a very classy, elegant-looking lady. Until she passed away, she was still smoking hot. She was a smoking hot lady. 
I'm gonna go over that I purchased. Oh, uh, there's so much. Oh, I totally forgot to show you all. When Mary Kay's, when you order offline for Mary Kay, I don't know if you all have ever ordered online for Mary Kay because I never did. I always had my beauty consultant, you know, I'd go to her house or whatever and pick it up. But when you order online, it comes in the cutest stinking box ever. For, this is what the box looks like. It is so pretty. And it also has the cute little sticker on there. And then when you open up the box, it's even more prettier. How stinking cute is how stinking cute is that box? This is like the prettiest packaging I've ever seen in my whole whole life. It says hello gorgeous Bella Bella. And um it's just I don't know, it made me feel pretty when I opened the box because I was like, oh, well hello. Hello, Mr. Boxy. Came with a lot of little peanuts in it. Nothing was moved around. Nothing was shaken. Every, nothing was broken. It was fabulous. I was very, very impressed with the packaging. The thing that I picked up was of their mineral eyeshadows and one blush. Now, the reason I picked up three in one was because they have a new little compact out, and this is their teeny tiny little compact. It's called the Compact Mini. It is new. It looks like this. I love how the packaging is so sleek and it has that little hint of pink at the bottom. It's very, very classy. And it's magnetized. None of these things actually stick in. You remember like back in the day, Mary Kay stuff, you had this pop in and then you'd pop it out. Well now, apparently everything is magnetized. So, uh, and they are extremely sturdy magnets. I have thrown this in my purse for the past couple days. Nothing's been moved, nothing's been broken. It's been just fabulous. It comes with a really nice mirror. It holds three shadows and one blush, or you can hold six eyeshadows, or you could hold two blushes in it. The only thing that I thought was kind of weird though was I was under the impression when I ordered it, see, because there's another little place back here that you just raise up. See, there's like that. I was under the impression that I was going to get some kind of sponges or like the little applicator things for this, but I didn't. So I thought that was kind of a letdown because what if I needed those applicators and I didn't? I mean, I bought the compact. Why didn't it come with a couple applicators? Not that people use applicators a lot because I use brushes, but it was just like, what if, uh, you know, what if I wanted to... I don't know. Like, you, I guess you had to buy those separate. I don't know. Um, so I thought that was kind of a letdown. But other than that, I absolutely love this. It's very, it's very light. It is very, um, it's very portable. It doesn't weigh your purse down. It's very, as you can hear, it snaps really good. The magnets are amazing. I was very, very impressed with the magnets. So, anyways, to go on though, the colors that I purchased though was this is a nice little ch brown, brown. Yeah. Oh my God. I am absolutely in love with this color. It is so insane. I'm actually wearing it right now on my lid. Uh, right there. And I have wore these all week, by the way. But it is this color right here. And this color is called gr Granite. 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 I'm going to say Granite. G-R-A-N-I-T-E. It's a really, really nice neutral brown. I'm absolutely digging it. The thing with these mineral eyeshadows are, my friend used to be a Mary Kay consultant too, and she said, why, she said now, being completely truthful and honest, she said, what do you think about Mary Kay's eyeshadows over Sephora and, you know, over Urban Decay and over Too Faced and The Bomb, what do you think about those? And my honest to God opinion is... Since I have wore this makeup like this, and these are all Mary Kay eyeshadows other than my highlight, and that's Urban Decay, of course, but I'm using this color on my uh, lid, this color on my crease, and I have gotten so many compliments on my eyeshadow. It's insane, and they've been like, where did you get that? And I'm like, oh, it's Mary Kay. I'm not even kidding you, and I'm not even just saying this because Lisa, you know, contacted me. I am being 100,000% honest with you all. I would not lie to my subscribers. I've gotten more compliments on my eyeshadow than I ever have. And I don't know if it's just because these are cooled down tones. It's not as dramatic as it usually is. 
or what, but I really have compliments on my eyeshadow now than I ever have, I think. The next color I got was Black Pearl. Black Pearl is just a nice, soft, black, charcoal color. It's not too harsh. It's just a really nice black. Bottom right there, that's both colors together. That's granite and then the black, soft, uh, or pearl black. My, I'm absolutely in love with it. I am absolutely in love with it. Here is my only downfall to it, I think. So it comes in a huge little package like this. You have to, um, they're very, very nicely placed. Nothing was broken, anything like that. You open them up and it comes like this, right? Open them up, I expected the eyeshadow to be a lot bigger because if you remember Mary Kay from back in the day, they were bigger eyeshadow pans. And this is teeny tiny. Like this is a little bitty thing. Let me compare it to a MAC lip glass for you. It goes to the top of the star of the new Lady Gaga. So it's really, really tiny. My only complaint I had about it, because I expected them to be a whole lot bigger, but these are $6 a piece, by the way. I do remember the price of those, and quality is just fantastic. These, I'm doing swatches right now without a base, okay? And the next color that I got was called Midnight Star. Midnight Star is this amazing blue. So stinking pretty. You could do one of the best smoky eyes with black pearl and midnight star i think i think these would be beautiful 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 smoky eye color they are just oh to die for you could use all three of these together for a smoky eye look i think and it would be beautiful and this is a blush in the color sky or no this is called shy blush like shy like you're a shy person and let me just tell you this is a complete dupe for a the balm um blush that i have the it's the balm hot mama it is a complete absolute dupe it is it is a complete dupe it is so much cheaper and i gotta tell you all the quality of these shadows and blushes is amazing they are so soft they are so soft they are so easy to blend i'm not even kidding you all these are amazing amazing and i didn't think i'm going to be completely honest i didn't think they were going to be that great because i've used mary Kay before and i like their eyeshadows but i don't know for some reason i wasn't i knew i was going to like this stuff but i didn't think i was going to like it as much and i kind of was on the fence about it before I or, or before I got it. I was like, you know what? I don't even know if I'm really going to use this stuff after I bought it and all that stuff. And oh my god, it's all I've wore. It's all I have wore. The blush reminds me a whole lot of the Pink Diamond lip gloss, as you can tell. It has some gold reflex in it. You can see. Oh my god, this blush is beautiful. To my three shadows. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm not even kidding you right now. I'm so glad that Lisa contacted me because if it wasn't for her, I probably never would have picked these. I never would have picked these up at all. And I'm absolutely in love with them. The next thing I picked up was the Mary Kay Oil Free Eye Makeup. But anyway, this is their oil free eye makeup remover to shake it up and then you use it that way on like a cotton ball or a little cotton square, whatever. It's nice for sensitive eyes all that good stuff and to be honest it's the same stuff as it was before i think uh, it's still amazing i love this stuff and it's definitely something that you should pick up if you're looking for a good nice eye makeup remover so up is you can't order from mary kay and not pick up their satin hand collection and it came in this super cute bag Mary Kay is known for their satin hands and their satin lips. I didn't pick up satin lips, but I did pick up the satin hands. Satin hands, I think, is $34. It is kind of pricey, but you do get these huge stinking bottles. These are huge bottles for things. Smells really good on. Um, it's not too overpowering. It's not going to knock you down. It's not like a strong pff, smell in your face. Okay. So that was the next thing I bought. The other thing that I like about this Satin Hands bottle is that you can turn this and it locks it. So you don't have to worry about, um, you don't got to worry about 
uh, it being open in your bag or whatever and squirting everywhere. So all of that is said and done and I have showed you that amazing lip gloss that Lisa sent me because she is so sweet and so stinking amazing. And I've showed you all the products that I purchased from her. I'm going to tell you the deal now. We have, she offered all of my wonderful subscribers free shipping. Now, whenever you go to check out and you place all of your stuff in your order, there'll be a little comment section. In that comment section, you need to write pink X lip gloss. Then she, after you send it on and you hit submit, you will send it on to her. Then she will take the shipping off and you will have free shipping with your order. If that isn't all only in the continental U.S., if you live in Alaska or Hawaii, she is offering you 10% off of your order. This runs all the way through June the 11th, so you have a couple days less than a month to order from her. She's an amazing lady, so sweet, so, so sweet. She did not even have to contact me to, to offer you all this. But she did because she is fabulous. And I think you all should definitely, 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 definitely jump on over and pick up some of those mineral eyeshadows and blushes. Because I'm not even gonna I'm not even lying to you all at all. Those eyeshadows are to die for. I just really, really, really like these eyeshadows. They are so soft, they are so easy to blend, they feel very very satin and silky to touch they last for a very long time there's no creasing of course I used my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer but even with my Urban Decay I'm usually getting some creasing by now because I would have had I've had my makeup on since uh, 9 o'clock this morning and it is now 7 31 p.m. so I'm going on a good 10 hours with this makeup on and there is no creasing whatsoever no creasing. Rambled way too much. Uh, everything will be in the down bar. The link to Lisa. The um, more information in case you didn't catch it really. Everything is linked in the down bar. If you haven't subscribed to me, subscribe so you can pick up on this wonderful deal. And thank you so much to Lisa again. You were so amazing and awesome. And I appreciate everything so, so much. Everyone has until June the 11th to make their orders. And until next time, as always, kisses and lip gloss. Toodles.